Hi, my name is Andrea. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I made this bunk bed. Enjoy it! So I cut the main pieces for the bed and then I started doing the bridle joints. I used my uh, table saw and the sliding jig I have on it. So for the second part of the bridle joint, my pieces were too long to fit them on the table saw, so I had to cut them with the jigsaw and then I fine tuned them with the chisel later. I glued the joints with the 2P10 glue, uh, which is the super glue, and then I added the normal PVA glue to the joints. Uh, the super glue uses uh, the joints to set up a little bit quicker so I can move on with the project, while the PVA glue will give it the real strength. On the joints that were imperfect, I added the clamps to close the gaps. Then I cut the sides that will go around the frame, which will keep the mattress in place. I drilled for some screws which will keep my piece in place so it won't slide when I put the glue inside. Anyways, I will put clamps later to fix it. I put some pocket holes into the sides so I could join them without using clamps so I could speed up the process. Uh, this at the end won't be visible anyways. I fix some holes with the filler, I let them dry and then I send it all. And then we move on to the post of the bed. Since the posts were crooked, twisted and so on, you name it, we had it all. We had to plane it a little bit so we 
straighten out the post. We all, we did all the hand planing, Morris and I together. Then we started doing notches where the frame of the bed will uh, sit into the legs or the posts. When the notches were finished, we cut the posts to the final length. We had some resin on the legs, so we wanted to take it off and we decided to use the bow tie to hide it. We gave the post uh, the bevel with the router so it won't split apart. Then it was starting to fitting the bed together. I had to make some uh, fittings a little bit better so it could have the snug fit. I used some uh, screws to fix it uh, temporarily in place, but then I used some carriage bolts to fix it completely. When I had both frames fixed into the posts, then I measured for the headboards, which I cut and then I used the pocket holes to fix them together later. Then I continued out on cutting the slats, which will support the mattress. So I started cutting them, and they were also rough, so they needed planing, which we also did later. And that it's a lot of work. If you have a planer and you wish to send it to me, please do it. Thank you.
When that was done, we rounded out the slots on the router bit, which was 3 eighths of an inch. When I did all of that, I made the calculations to uh, make the separators between the slats. Then we made the ladders. Uh, we decided to uh, join them with the Moritz and Tenon, but without gluing them. So I made the tenons on the table saw, and Morris made the Moritzes on the posts. Then I applied a few coats of water-based varnish and it was done. Please like, comment and share. For more videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs> 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 I thought it open close, yeah.